In this video, I have to complete the No Jug Challenge on every single Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies map. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free, and you can always change your mind later. With all that said, enjoy this video. Okay, here we go. Transit. Now, oh my god, we almost just died already. See, the problem I have with this map is that it's too big to run around and grab perks on, so you know what it is? We're doing No Jug today. As you probably saw in the intro, oh my god, my FOV is all over the place, and my sensitivity, what is going on? That is much better. So yeah, we're doing the no jug challenge on every single BO2 map today You guys really seem to enjoy when I sit down and play all the black ops games or all the maps on a black ops game So today we're doing BO2 and I know the question might be going through your head right now, bro Where's the BO4 video? It's been like two weeks. Th this shit takes time. Okay BO4 is when Jason Blundell basically had a massive fit and started incorporating so many random steps into his easter eggs And bro BO4 is just a hell in a handbasket to do solo. I can't lie That's why I'm getting these smaller videos out for you guys first. So you actually have something to watch in the meantime I have failed to knife that zombie about four times now right okay no hatch no nothing i'm gonna destroy this turbine why did i destroy that turbine well i've heard it off of a certain someone i think it was actually a ranzaru video that destroying that turbine is better <coughs> jesus christ apparently i can't speak today destroying that turbine is way better because it like i don't know makes its health way stronger throughout the rest of the game because it's had less uses i don't know how these things work but i'm not a bo2 connoisseur do want to end this round before we make a move though that's a max ammo that's very generous right okay let's get ted moving here I am going to try save my points for the box because we've got really nothing else we could be pouring it into. Getting the power on is definitely a must. And yeah, oh, did I mention as well the goal for this video is round 20. Yeah, we upped it from 15. You zombies about to get fucking ran over, bro. Like, of course, you want to be different. You want to jump on the front, don't you? Fucking weirdo, bro. Try to soak up as many points as I possibly can. I just missed all of my fucking bullets there. That was ridiculous. I'm going to use a grenade back here, I think, actually. Before we run into some fire. Never mind. They're all on the bus now. That's great. Ow, you fucking cunt. I'm going to try farm this zombie not in the round please don't come on the bus no you i feel like that took ages as well and also why haven't we turned off the fog there we go much better right let's get this box cracked open here come on come on bless me up bless me up ray gun or something like that the s12 okay that is not what i had in mind but sure this time he's gonna give me the ray gun no that does not look like a ray gun to me box come on something i can use please that'll do right i am gonna go quickly check and see if the hatch is in here because i feel like galvan knuckles on this run will be especially useful that is the ladder it's not the worst that could have been there to be fair with you it just makes places like the power station that little bit easier because you can just climb over the bus. See if we can get one more hit on the box here, actually. Got double points. Yeah, we'll definitely get another hit on the box here. Come on, bless me up. The executioner, that's not terrible. I do want something that's going to last, though. The hammer definitely will, but I'm not too sure about this other thing. As you can see from our last video on BO2, the tower is still lit up. I do really like that about Black Ops 2. It definitely went for more like the non-linear kind of storytelling. It's quite cool. It's especially prevalent in the campaign, and it's quite cool It's quite cool how they implemented that into zombies as well. See, this executioner's looking good right now, but I swear to God, once we go on another fucking five rounds, it's going to be like a five shot. Alright, we got one more hit here. Come on. Fucking EMPs, man. That's no use to me. I guess we're just going to be using the hammer for a little while here. That's not too bad. I do want to get moving, though, so we can get the power on. Round five as well. We're not doing too bad, honestly, for transit. I was expecting a lot worse. I was expecting some stupid downs towards the start, but we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Oh, that insta kill would have been so useful, man. Okay, they've broke through the top hatch now. Fuck's sake. It's going to try and clear out this horde to the best of my ability, which is probably going to be pretty easy, considering that we've got a fucking LMG on round five. But there we go. The bus should just move now, I'm pretty sure, if you don't open the door. Come on, Ted, move your ass. Yeah, there we go. See, I know my transit a little bit. If we are going to round 20, we're going to have to get Pack-A-Punch open as well. So this is why I want to get the power on. Because using the bus to get Pack-A-Punch on is just not going to work. So we need perks like stamina up and stuff. Really don't like how they can break through the top and there's just nothing you can do about it. This execution is still holding up pretty well, actually. Oh, that max ammo. No, bro, I need that. Whatever, we move, we move. I'll just start using the execution a little bit more. Right, okay, let's get this door cracked open then. Right, we just need to quickly find these power pieces. There's a first one. Switch is there. That means the arm must be there. Hopefully. No, I don't know where the arm is. Uh-oh. Quickly chuck this on. Here we go. Oh, the arm's there as well. Okay, shit. Got a switch here. Oh, that's why I don't like the executioner, man, because you just can't reload. Oh, they were actually a lot closer than I thought they would be. We do really need to hurry our asses up here because the bus is so temperamental with the power station, man. He sounds close. Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's there. Okay. All right, get this on. Turn the power on. Grab this nuke for the extra points. Use the turbine on the door. And we are fucking out of here. And this is why having the ladder is that little bit useful because you can just camp on top of the bus now. If it would let me climb up, thank you. All right, okay. Now everything's a lot brighter. Let's actually get on the bus here because I feel it's going to be a whole lot safer than staying on the top. Reload our LMG and just hope for the best, honestly. I am going to start reloading our weapon a little bit more and also is avogadro coming already what i think pack a punch might be like a top priority honestly 
And we do have a very good health turbine, so I don't think it'll be too far out of our league to do it soon. Since we really don't need to worry about perks apart from maybe like speed caller if we're going to keep the executioner. And stamina up for, you know, running about. Right, let's crack this door open and grab myself some stamina up. That makes everything just that little bit easier. And I actually do have some business at town, I won't lie to you. So hang on, let me just nade this door. Oh, hopefully there should just be some points. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right, let's pull out 10 kicks. I only want to pack two guns. Does it have to be these two guns? Probably not. All right, we've got a pretty long run ahead of us as well. Now, I know what you're saying in the comments. Oh, why don't you use the teleporters? Purely because I have terrible luck, I don't really fancy going back to bus depot and banking on these denizens taking me straight to the power station again. And in any way, we're almost there. Oh, fuck. Spoke a little bit too soon. Shit. Ah. Oh, those things have to be the most annoying fuckers ever, man. Get off my head, you stupid piece of shit. I'm not even in the thing. Come on. There we go. See, the problem we have now is that I'm going to make this into a crawler, actually. I'm going to try at least. Yep, there we go. Perfect. I'm going to chuck this right there and then run for my fucking life. And hopefully by the time when we get over there, pack a bunch should just be open. Ah, well, I don't think it's going to be open for very long, actually, because the fucking... Oh, nah, I think we fucked it, honestly. Maybe if we're fast, I don't know. I actually hate this system, bro, so much. It's only round eight, though, so maybe it'll give with the benefit of the doubt. Probably not. Right, it's an absolute maybe whether or not this is open. And also, we've got to build it as well, bro. I didn't even think about that. Fuck off, I'm not even in the fog. Oh, my God, open up, open up, open up. Oh, my God, it's shut. I actually hate this map so much, man. Okay, maybe we should loop around the diamond, diamond and just grab, like, a new weapon or something. I don't know. Bro, we are on four bullets. This is the problem with transit, man. You just already... Oh, bro, where's the bus at? Oh, my God, this is the polar opposite of where I wanted to end up, man. I need another denizen. Bro, please just take me to... Oh, that's nowhere near. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, we are. We're at diner. Right, let's quickly spin for a box here. Okay, they did sit. What the fuck is going on here, bro? Is that like a mod I forgot I had on or something? I'm so confused. Oh, my God, bro. This is risky. Literally have an SMR in a fucking dream. Oh, bro. That's a fucking joke, man. Round eight down. Really? Oh, I guess we're going to have to go get quick revive again. And we kept stamina up. That's really weird. Do we have perma perks on? I'm really confused. Is that a perma perk too? Oh, bro, I'm so fucking confused. I suppose we should head back to Bus Depot, though, and try and get some quick revive again. We'll just use the fucking teleporters, because hopefully luck be on our side tonight. Oh my god, run! This is not Bus Depot. Bro, fuck off. I'm grabbing the boy knife just for that purpose, bro. Bro, please just take me to Bus Depot. I'm literally just still on the same road. What the fuck? Okay, I'm back at Diner, bro. This is fucking... This is actually annoying. Open this up and just give me an MP5. Are we really doing the rest of this run with an MP5 and no QR? Maybe. This really depends on how well I can get back to Bus Depot. If the bus comes around, all that shit. I don't know, bro. I've been trying with these teleporters for like the past 10 minutes. Bro, I forget how bad Diner actually is. To be fair with you, though, we are surviving. We're just shy of halfway there. I'm going to try to get through this round, then we're going to mess around with the teleporters again. I kind of just want to teleport to the box, to tell you the truth. I don't even give a shit about Quick Revive. I don't even know where the box is, though. It looks far. Yep, yep, diggy hole. Okay, Bus Depot. That's something. That is Quick Revive. Is there a Remington here? No, there's not. Fuck. Bro, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you bastard, man. I actually hate transit so much, especially solo, man. You've got no idea. Oh, my God, okay. I guess we're just down on our nades already. I didn't think it would come to this dire. On fucking round 10, by the way. If Avogadro comes, it's over. I guess we're making a run for it. I think the box actually is in town, though, so it's a bit of a stroke of luck that we've run this way. Okay, the box is here. That's good. What's not good is the amount of zombies that are already sprinting at me when I haven't got a fucking gun. Oh, my God. Bro, the RPG, that's got to be some kind of sick joke. I mean, for once, we can actually train in town because there's a mystery box here now, but oh shit. Bro, fuck this game, man. I guarantee you every other map with Transit will hit round 20. That just sucks so much dick, man. Fuck Transit, honestly. Right, okay, Die Rise. Now, I can play Die Rise a little bit better than I can play Transit, mainly down to the fact that we've got, like, buildables on our side, you know, ones we can actually use. I know where a lot more stuff is, and getting a pack a punch gun really isn't that difficult at all. I am going to open this door quickly, though, and Quick Revive's already down there. Fuck's sake. As you can see, this tower's already on from the one we've done in the BO2 video. It's kind of cool to go back and see these. Like I said before, BO2 really shine with non-linear gameplay, and the fact you can still see them, like, glowing when you're not even in the same game, like in BO3 with their Easter eggs, is very, very cool to me. Come on, elevator, I'm still waiting on you. Actually, I, I suppose we'll head down there really quickly and just build the trample steam as fast as we can. Get this door open as well. Grab quick revive. Add this part on here. Yeah, we'll build the trample steam mainly because it's just nice to have around when you run out of bullets. I don't know if you guys saw as well, but the trailer 
trailer for uh, Die Rise Remastered, like the actual proper trailer came out the other day, and my oh my, it looks amazing. I'm excited to play this game the way it was meant to be played. Jesus Christ, these elevators take some amount of time. There we go. Let's grab the flag here. Chuck this flag on. It's going to be a lot of back and forth with this until this is done. Also, the Sliquifier on this map will probably be a huge help. I think Transit might just be a one-off. We got this. We got this. There's the little engine piece here. And fuck, that zombie died out. Okay, we'll grab an M14 or something here. Add this engine on. And then we got to go get like the little fucking air pressure wheel thing that looks like it's from the 1920s. And then the trample steam's done. Then we can actually focus on progressing through the map now where is this last piece i'm kind of confused ah there it is cool quickly chuck this on here then we'll get away there we go oh god i was gonna try to make that jump but i didn't have to run up for it all right here we go oh Oh, well, that was almost a fucking down already. Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. And we want to go in this direction because we're going towards the power, aren't we? Need to be careful with these jumps, though. Right, I am... Um, yeah, fuck it. I'll grab an AN-94. And now we need a thousand points. Great. We are a lot more equipped, though, with this AN. Bro, how are you going to do me like that? There's a fucking nuke right there, and it's locked off by a door. Right, let's crack this door open, then let's withdraw some points or whatever we have left. I wouldn't have... Oh, no, we have a good 10k in there still. Nice. I was going to say, I don't think we'd have much, but, you know, I'll be damned. And the one-time jokes that Double tap will be useful. We can grab that. But yeah, the one-time juggernaut's in that spot. Like, what the fuck? Out of all the times we've played Dive Rise, it's always been in the most obscure location known to man. Right, so we'll get the slip of fire built then, shall we? There's the foot. There's the bottle. Okay, we have, might have some good spawns here, actually. There's the hand. Bro, we got mint spawns. Let's go. Let's kill this zombie here. But right, now we just need that little central middle piece. Where the fuck can that spawn? Maybe it's back up here? I kind of doubt it, though. I would chuck my gun in the pack-a-punch machine, but, like, I'm scared in case it just leaves. When in doubt, scan every single room and spam F. There we go. That took fucking forever to find. It was on the table in the corner over there. Let's get this thing built. And there we go. Right, is there any other perks I can grab from down here? Because, like I said, we can't grab Jug, so literally anything else at all would probably be helpful right now. Yeah, we can't really take advantage of the free perk either in case it gives us Jug, so we can just shoot them all we want, to be fair with you. Kind of just want the max ammo. There you go. How I wish I could buy this beautiful red perk, but I fucking can't. Because I decided, yeah, I want to torture myself today. Right, let's head up to the roof here. It's the only real camping spot on Die Rise. I didn't want to go down, bro. Come on. Right, there we go. We're on the roof now. Let's grab some claymores here as well. Why not? But yeah, no, the roof's actually a pretty decent training spot. Got another max ammo already, bro. You're feeling too generous. And the double points, bro. When pack a punch comes, it's over. Yeah, with the slick with fire, though, we definitely do need a little bit of that speed cooler. Where that is, though, I've got no clue. Bro, where is this zombie screaming from? Calm the fuck down, bro. You're not him. I am kind of curious as to where pack a punch is, though, because that's going to be really useful when it does eventually show its face. We'll start worrying about ammo realistically when we run out of ammo in the slick with fire as well as the AN. But if it's just next gun that runs out of ammo, I'm honestly not too hard. It's a very good weapon, though. Oh, shit. Right, this is either going to be speed caller or pack a punch. Oh, my God, it's pack a punch. Perfect. Lob that in there. Right, there we go. Fucking 600 bullets in an AR. That is insane for BO2. AN94 was honestly the best thing about this game. And maybe Origins. You know, that one thing. That one map that was slightly revolutionary. Honestly, I feel like we're going to get around 20 pretty easily. I might be speaking too soon, but with the rate they're spawning and stuff, it's honestly quite tame. And there we go. That's round eight done. Definitely going to have to do one of these challenges one day where we go across all of the Black Ops games. That would be such a good video, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see something like that. Fucking nuke. That's absolutely perfect as well. We've still got fucking 470 bullets in our AN, man, bro. Wait, we are so beating this. And it's round 10. We do get a cheeky little round skip as well here because it's a jumping jack round. And a max ammo, which is, you know, always nice. And there it is. Holy shit, bro. They're so easy. They might actually be easier than BO3 dogs. Actually, not a lie. BO3 dogs pop like balloons and you can aim at them easy. These are actually a little bit of a challenge because you can't just like necessarily shoot them then they're done because they jump all over the fucking place we are officially into the number rounds it's no longer tally marks which is good it's weird how they changed that to round six and any black ops game past black ops three a bit weird it's a bit of a shame that the roof's really the only good area in die rise where you can like comfortably sit because like the map itself like it's vibes it gives off and the layout and like the, the design of like the buildings and stuff is so cool it's just the map is like so close quarters on the inside of the buildings there's just no point in going on top of them it's why i'm so excited for die rise remastered because it's going to take this map and just make it so much better and that is round, okay. I'm only just thinking as well, we've got to do Nuketown Zombies after this. That is going to be a fucking doozy, man. I can barely get to round 15 on that map, never mind 20 with no Jug. Well, to be fair with you, depending on what round Jug drops anyway, we might not even be using it up until then. Eight more rounds to go. We've so got this, man. Double points and a max ammo. What is this, Christmas? We are honestly clearing these rounds. So, is that last? No, nah, I didn't think so. I was going to say we are clearing these rounds so fast. Bro, that was... Oh, my God. I'm going to go check if Speed Caller's over here yet. That's Jug and Double Tap. 
That means speed caller must be there, man. It has to be. I'm going to try train them up a little bit here, just so we can try use the slicker fire a bit more. Give it some, you know, screen time, since it is the fucking wonder weapon of the map. Only problem I have with Horden with the slicker fire is that it doesn't necessarily kill them as quick as a wonder weapon would th you'd think. So, like, for example, a ray gun will guarantee kill them, like, one hit. Kind of like that. But some of them will just end up, like, slipping and then get them back up. It's kind of counterintuitive because it just blocks your train. Or maybe I'm just using the gun wrong and I'm just really bad at the game. I don't know. Another max ammo, bro? Come on. We are also on around 14, bro. We're, like, three quarters of the way there, basically. I felt like round 15 would be a little bit too easy for this kind of challenge. So I, d I did up at around 20 because, like, I feel like it's just a harder number to get to without jug. Like, I'm pretty sure anybody could do round 15 in their sleep. Oh, my God. That was a lot of zombies. Holy. That's a nuke over there. I'm going to try to kill as many as I can then. And grab the nuke. That should probably end around we killed a lot yeah there we go cool right okay round 15 is it jumping jack round yes okay round skip nice honestly the slick fire is one of the coolest wonder weapons we've ever seen it's just so like it's not steampunk it's more just like industrial i fucking love it there we go i didn't get a chance to reload that's a bit of a bummer but okay well full clip of slick fire ammunition full clip of air ammo we are doing great i feel like these are definitely the rounds where we're more likely to fuck up so i'm just gonna try and be as careful as i can not gonna really worry about hoarding just more so actually killing them don't think ammo's really gonna be an issue though because we've been blessed up with max ammo's like left right and center the double points there it's always nice oh my god they're pouring through there now jesus Right, let's use the slick fire a little bit here. Round 17. I'm getting more and more nervous as we get closer to that goal because getting quick revive could be so difficult depending on where that lift is in that other building over there. Like, it's a literally like an arm's reach away. But the problem is, is that if the lift isn't down there, we're going to run up the stairs and risk just going down completely. Okay, got an insta-kill. That does make everything 10 times easier. Carpenter, nah. Okay, we got a nuke here. Like I always do, I'm going to try and maximize it. I don't think it'll end the round, though, if I'm being honest. Here's a max ammo there. And they, it did end the round. Holy shit, okay. Keep getting a bunch of perma perks as well. I really hope I don't get jug because that would just defeat the whole purpose of this challenge. Speed cooler would be so nice right now, but we've basically gone the entire run without it, so there's no point in moving my arse to go and see it. Bro, the wonder weapon of this map is hands down the AN94. Like we'll fire who? And there it is, round 19. Okay, bro, we are doing so well. One more round to go. Come on. And of course, Diorize had to bless us one more time and give us a round skip. You already know. Honestly, jumping jacks should have been brought back like sometime by now. Like, come on. They were so cool. They were just Nova Crawlers, but just so much better, because Nova Crawlers are, like, the worst thing about Kino to Totem in any map they're on. And there's the max ammo. And with that, we have, funnily enough, we got the fucking jug from the perk bottle. <laughs> Right, okay, funnily enough, we're also done with this challenge. I didn't expect to get a free perk off that. I thought we completely missed every shot. It's just as well that we didn't get that, like, anytime sooner. Right, okay, we've completed Die Rise. On to the next one. Okay, here we are. One of my favorite maps ever, Mob of the Dead. Now, honestly, out of all of the maps that we've played so far, this one's going to be the most interesting because we have a lot of shit to do. Look up at the recipes and the quest items. So we're kind of not just going to be hoarding around. I think I honestly do want to try to get the dogs done and stuff so we can get, like, a free blunder guard or all that stuff because there's a lot you can do on this map besides just hoarding and getting to a high round grab the acid gap piece here and here is our first dog head and honestly i feel as though we can't fail this one with afterlife we basically have quick revive on strap 24 7 unless we have four really bad downs we'll be fine we'll grab a b23r here but these spawns take forever man right there we go okay did that count no it did not that's the annoying thing with the bo2 dog system it is very janky one more should do him i think we did get a max ammo though so that means we can use our m1911 just a little bit yep he's done right let's crack this open here warden's key is on this side so i'll tell you what we'll do we'll also crack this side open so we can get literally everything unlocked and i know it best from this side so let's just do it from here go through here shock that that's that on shock that one that one that one. All right, we're just over halfway here. Gonna get the gondola and stuff on, then we are basically done. That one, that one. And then if we're really quick, and if this zombie moves out of my way, get that on. Oh, run, 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 run. Okay, we're, we're, good. we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Why was I even stressing, bro? Got the warden's key here. A cheeky little double points for me. Honestly, perfect, because all the doors on this map are ridiculously expensive. All right, let's crack this open here. And the top of an afterlife. It's annoying, because you can't just jump over the gate and shock the thing you've got to do it separately in a different afterlife it's kind of annoying but you know whatever another double points you're too generous i have realized now that we're about to do this with 12 bullets do i give a fuck not really that's perfect insta kill we're good oh even better all right grab this quick and then we're gonna run the fuck out of here because there's so many that spawn like that yep that's usually what happens and i end up down in there all right let's open this up box yeah okay we were one off the blunder got there i did see that that's absolute L's. Okay, one more spin here. Ray gun, perfect. And a max ammo. Great. There's our acid gap piece. And there is our... 
What are these called again? Control valves, yeah. Right, okay, let's quickly zap that. And let's head up here and get the door up here open. There we go. Right, and we'll fill this dog up as well, because we might as well. Honestly, getting around 20 on this map, it doesn't really feel like you're, like, aiming for rounds. You're more busy getting other shit done that you just progress them without realising. That's his first zombie. That's his second. Yeah, we really need to be careful here. I'm glad we're getting this one out of the way first and not doing it the other way around with the docks first because doing this with no jug at a higher round is probably like a death sentence. Oh my god. The amount of double points I've had is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, no, I'm not, bro. I'm the best zombies player alive. Nah, and dog's done. Gr brilliant. I was about to say brilliant. Got oh, max ammo here, bro. They've been really generous with the drops, actually. Right, okay, let's head back down here because there's a lot of shit we need to get done. And one of them is not turning on that certain perk machine down there because we don't need it. Let's crack that open. We can also grab the shield piece, which is usually here. The stick piece is usually about here. It's going to be in the corner, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Right, okay. We'll go into afterlife as well. Zap that quick. Get that off. Get this one off. And get that off. Oh, there we go. Pick myself up here. Oh, I should probably pick up the playing piece. You know, the one I just fucking, like, opened for myself. Right, I'm going to grab a Tommy gun as well. There we go. Right, before we go and do the rig, and we got to fill up this dog. Then we can grab the Hell's Retriever. Get a free blunder. Get then we're chilling, bro. We're probably not even going to have much time to actually use it. Need to be careful of that nuke. So ideally, I want to build some points this round so we can get these doors open. Because I think collectively, that's 2,000. The one up there is 1,500. So that's 3,500 points for two fucking doors. I didn't realize getting this dog done would be so fucking stressful, man. Okay, that insta Oh, and it's done. Okay, right. Let's get some point building going here. Right, okay, let's get cracked open this door here. Grab this other shield piece. Right, we can build the shield now. That's good. Get this open. Get this open. And let's dart up here and get the rigging done. Zero, eight, two. All right, I'm going to click my guns because it does it whenever you come out of afterlife for some reason. I don't understand why. All right, we got buckets of time yet, man. Animax ammo. That's perfect. Crack that open. Grab the rigging. And we are done. The plane pretty much, actually. We literally just got to grab the engines, which are upstairs and just behind the lock gate. We also need to grab a Hell's Retriever, which we can do now, actually. Instead of taking the gondola back up, I'm just going to run through the Citadel tunnels. Well, half there, they are ready, man. This isn't fair. I want to use my blunder gun. Don't be a knob. Oh my god! No, oh, it's a down again. That's two! Outrageous. Fucking hell. Bro, they actually are everywhere on this map. It's crazy. Grab a health retriever. Bro, please not again. No, that door would have probably definitely killed us if we didn't have the points there. 2,000 is outrageous for a door. Jason Blundell, what were you smoking when you made these prices, bro? And here comes Bruce. But we have a ray gun. It should be pretty easy. Oh my god, he's right there. Literally one shot, bro. Right, now that we've got one zombie left, I think I'm going to run around the map and get a blunder gun. Let's grab our last plane piece as well here. There's our first skull. While we're here, actually, we can grab this other piece for the acid gat kit. Build our shield as well here in the cafeteria. There we go. That will make having no jug a little bit easier, honestly, if we've got our back covered. I suppose we can go stick all the parts on the roof and then we can grab the other skull. All right, nice. There's the plane and there's our skull. Very nice. There's another skull and the last two are down here and then we can go grab our free blunder gat, convert that shit, save up some money, pack a bunch of guns and then train until round 20 on that Golden Gate Bridge. We are going to have to run back through the Citadel Tunnel. Citadel Tunnels? Not a fucking kennel, bro. The Citadel Tunnels. Unfortunately, though, because I don't have the point budget to actually use the fucking gondola again. Bro, we're going broke for this blunder gat. There we go. And the last skull is just up here on this lamppost by he who shall not be named, otherwise known as Juggernaut. Oh, we got that first try as well. Let's go. And there's our free blunder gat. Nice one. What we'll do as well is we'll convert this to an acid gap really quick, then we'll end the round. Save it for speed cooler, and I think electric cherry should probably help out a lot. And then we'll head for the bridge. Honestly, I haven't got a clue where we're going to camp or even really go, so I think we'll just kind of stay around this area, to be fair with you. It looks kind of chill. Could have gone in the cafeteria, to be fair. That's probably the best bet. Yeah, maybe we don't even need to go to the bridge. We could just actually train in the cafeteria, which would be pretty chill. I keep saying chill. I don't know why. And that was last. Okay, we're in the double digit rounds now. I want to go quickly run up and grab electric cherry, though, because I just want to get set up. Because the cafeteria is good, but it doesn't have the fastest spawns. Unpack to acid guy is actually decent, you know. It just doesn't have the monkey bomb effect, and it, but it explodes way faster than the vitriolic withering, which I kind of like, but it does a lot less damage. That's a max ammo. I'm going to quickly reload my ray gun. Okay, round 12. We're doing quite well. I'm going to save it for speed cooler, and I don't know if double tap's really worth it. I'm not sure. Honestly, these rounds are going by quite quick. It's probably because we've had really good box luck for the majority of these runs. Transit was a little bit of a mishap, shall we say. That was really bad, man. I hate transit so much. Eh, fuck it. We'll go and grab double tap real quick. We'll also just whack speed call on, because why not? And get that on. Oh, fuck. Okay, this might be a little bit of a doozy. Oh, God. I just downed myself with the fucking ray gun, bro. That's a lot of zombies. Holy shit, man. I right, got one more chance here. 
Are we going to fuck it up already? You're joking, bro. I don't like how you have just zero grace period with afterlife. It's kind of annoying. Right, we've actually got to go into full fucking survival mode here. Holy. Oh, God. Our shield's broken, too. Okay, let's grab ourselves another shield here. I'm going to try to clear out as many zombies as I can. Didn't mean to end the round. Okay, I guess we're grabbing speed cooler now. Oh, my God, bro. They spawn in so fast as well. This isn't fair. Nice speed caller. Nice. Oh, shit. Double tap two. Gimme. Okay, I feel a little bit more powerful now. I think we're just going to go to the bridge and call it a fucking day. Because this is getting a bit too hectic for me in the prison. Oh, my God. Right, okay, I'm getting the fuck. Let's go. And we are fucking out of here. Okay, and welcome to the Golden Gate Bridge. This is going to be our training spot for the next six rounds. I am definitely going to pack the ray gun first, I think. Oh, my... What? What the fuck, man? Oh, my God, the run might actually be fucked. This is not good, bro. Oh, I don't like how much damage that does to me as well. Honestly, as long as we make it through this run and get another quick revive, we're good. All right, there we go. All right, stick that in there. All right, now we've really just got to be careful, man. Where's he spawning in? Oh, my God, another one. Come on, round 15. We've had worse on Nuketown, man. This is open. This is fucking free, bro. We've almost got enough points to pack a bunch of vitrolic wither in here. No way that's round. Bro, okay, this is going to be piss easy. We're good. I love how fast my opinion changes. It's great. There's a bruise spawn every round on the bridge. That's fucking obnoxious, man. They're not even hard to kill. There's another one? Honestly, this ray gun is doing the fucking job. I haven't even had to use the acid gat once. I suppose it's firing at the horde. Why not? Don't really feel like pack a punch in the acid gat just yet because it's mid round and there's so many smoke. Grenade's been let off by Brutus, man. This is ridiculous. Go away. A another Brutus, bro? Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Right, stick that in the pack a punch machine. Right, there we go. Vitrolic withering. Hello. So many Brutuses, man. I haven't really been using much of the tomahawk here. I'm going to try and make a little bit more use of it while we're on the bridge, actually. We are running very low on Reagan ammo, though. All right, okay, and that's round. Round 18. Come on, we got to do two more. Well, basically one more. We've so got this in the bag, man. The amount of Brutuses that are spawning, though, is not fun. And they're not even, like, giving me drops, either. That's the worst part. All right, now we've got to solely rely on this fucking blunder guy here. And the problem is, we don't have speed cooler. Reloading might be a little bit of an annoyance. It does take out hordes fairly quickly, though, so I think we should be okay. Bro, look at these shambling zombies, bro. It's round 18 pick up the pace okay honestly i think that's round bro why are they still walking that's not round oh wait no there's one more right you see now we've got the difficulty of taking care of brutus with the blunder guy and there's gonna be a lot of them worst comes to worst we take it down and just run straight the electric chairs and go grab perks apart from jug of course oh my god there's so many of them holy shit oh my god my screen bro using the tomahawk to take him out that was always a great option oh my god bro all right okay yeah tomahawk took quick care of brutus there and there we go we have completed round 20 no jug on Mob of the Dead. Okay, we're off to Buried now. Well, here we are. Nuketown Zombies. Now, arguably this is the last quote-unquote bad map in BO2, but one could argue that Nuketown is good. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I do like the challenge of the map, but I do find it gets very dull, and that is Quick Revive coming in. There we go. We can pick that up, but if Jug drops next, we cannot pick that shit up. I like the whole thing of it, oh, it takes place at the same time as Moon. I like the challenge aspect of it, but realistically at its core, the map really didn't bring much to the table. It's cool don't get me wrong but it's not worth a premium price hence why it was probably priced at like five dollars kind of like the giant it was a cool add-on but it was definitely not a good dlc map i have a feeling we're gonna get on through this just fine though the box is on this side so we're gonna aim for this side first obviously because we really want to try and get that sweet sweet m27 my favorite gun on it and even in just black ops 2 in general we are running a little bit low on ammo here i think we can get by and get to the mystery box just by using our knife though Ooh. honestly right looking back at bo2 makes me realize how well this game game has aged because honestly right some of the, the effects like that fire the fucking mystery box light that massive nuke in the sky man i know it's all really just like like sky boxes and that's just like a, probably an mp4 but bro jesus christ man compare this with something like bo3 on last gen and it's just night and day difference and this game's nearly i think this game is 10 years old now that feels wild to say as well that bo2 is 10 years old christ alive man having like an existential crisis while i'm recording a fucking no juggernaut challenge I'm gonna try to kill these last two zombies here with grenade oh, there's one on the left as well I didn't even notice them oh there's two these two fucking hazmat boys Ugh. right okay oh my god there's so many zombies for round three what the fuck right there we go that's it done right, let's head over here god this map is expensive man that was fucking 1750 points right come on juice me up m a 7 it's not a bad weapon but i don't want to stick with it for the rest of the game come on galil okay that that's honestly solid probably could have went a lot worse okay yeah even on round four things are starting to ramp up a little bit and that is another perk hopefully i'm hoping it's double tap too honestly or speed cooler because if it's juggernaut i'm gonna be so pissed off man because every time i get on and play a bit of nuketown on my own you know 
when I'm not recording, just, you know, maybe get a bit of practice in. It drops Jug last, and that is Double Tap 2. See, if you complain enough, Reverse Psychology will give you the right one. We love Double Tap 2, especially in this game, because until we get back a punch, that's basically the best damage we're going to get out of these guns. Of course, we can hit the box again, but for now, we don't have the point budget to do that. Round 5, we're about a quarter of the way there. Not by, like, actual time standards, but by round counter, yes. I can't believe when you're hitting round 100s, round 80 is technically halfway there. That's actually criminal. Use a little bit of the Galil here. I don't really want to use too much of it because I kind of feel like it's our best gun that we have and we have enough points for the box here. Let's get shot at this M8A1. Let's not get shot at this M8A1. That is not good. I don't know what it is about this gun. I just really don't like it. It's not even the fact it's burst. I think it's just down to the way it looks. Yeah, we're judgmental about the weapons on the Roman W channel. Really didn't want to get that nuke there. It would have been such a waste of points. All right, we'll grab it now. Okay, right. We've got two more hits on the box here. I want a mark. Mark 2, man, come on. Juice me up. That is not the Mark 2. Oh, neither is that, bro. Come on. This game actually hates me. I don't know what it is with Black Ops 2. We have, like, a very love-hate relationship. Bro, the SMR shouldn't be this good. What the fuck? Hang on. SMR, you're not this good. Is it buff it on Nuketown? Nah, you're fucking joking, bro. Nah, what? I can't tell if it's still really inaccurate. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, it is quite inaccurate, actually. Fire's fast, though. Oh, that was stupid of me. Usually, I get through them gaps, though, to be fair with you. We did a similar one on transit, literally in the same video. A little bit annoying, but whatever. Oh, my God. Okay, please ignore the fact that my hand models have changed and I have different weapons and, like, I don't have double tap two anymore and all that stuff. Yeah, I totally didn't die on round six. Who, 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 who do you think I am? I died on round six. Oh, it's about to happen again. Really need shot of this DSR. We did get a hammer, though, which is nice. RPD, two really fucking heavy weapons. Without speed caller, we're pretty much as good as dead. The max ammo. Let's hit the box again here. I do want to get rid of one of these because I do want a weapon I can just reload fast, you know? And that is not a weapon I can reload fast or fucking use. Okay, we survived it this time. On to round seven. I feel like we got this in the bag. Kind of. Like I said, though, I, or I don't know, I'm getting fucking dementia already. If I had to pick one of them, I think I'm going to keep the hammer due to the fact that it can just reload way faster than the RPD. That's another perk dropping, okay? Ah, shit. That's going to... It's going to be the regular Mark II, isn't it? Isn't it? No, it's the executioner, but it's way better than the RPD, as in for mobility. What is this? Bro, that's got to be some kind of sick joke. We can't buy that shit. Okay, Packer Punch dropped as well. Okay, that's up here. That's good to know. I don't really want to open up the stairs because that does fuck up our training spot a little bit. I do, however, want to spin the box again because it's probably going to move. No, RPG, you feel like being a dick? Just just well, that one more time before you have to leave. Not going to give me like a ray gun or maybe like that little, little bit of Mark II. Fucking M27, anything other than just BO2 shit. Oh my god, Max Ammo is kind of perfect. Reload the hammer. There we go. And that is round eight done. Okay, this is definitely going to move, isn't it? Don't even play with me. Yep. Who knows? Maybe it won't move, won't move far. That is a fucking new one. Won't move far. Might go up there, to be fair with you. Or it's more likely to just go in the opposite house. Ow, fuck off. So the execution is decent for getting them out your way like that when we were just training. But, like, it's fucking terrible in any other circumstance. And when you're running out of ammo like that, it's even worse. Right, I think it's time to go over to the other garden. Oh, the box is in the house. It's not even in the garden. That's criminal. I'm going to try to use as much of this executioner ammo as I can. I'm also going to try to squeeze through this horde. There we go. This one's really going to keep on with toes, I feel like. I love how when I'm reloading the gun, just the shells go into fucking the shadow realm. Like, and then they just appear when you click the barrel back into the gun. Great animation design, honestly. Like, bro, what is this shit? Okay, the box is just there. Right, please juice me up. Come on. MTAR. Okay, I will take that as a solid weapon. Right, one more, one more, one more. This is for like the Mark II or something, you know, something cheeky. Bro, fucking scripted gameplay, bro. I love the mystery box. I love the MTAR. And I love the Rego Mark II. Definitely got some keeper weapons here. The pack of punch the MTAR has a shit ton of ammo, is mobile, and although the recoil's a little bit bad, it was just as bad with a hammer, really. I fucking love the MTAR. And the Mark II as well, that is a nice addition to our fucking arsenal. Oh my god. Don't want to get too carried away with it, though, because the sense of power actually tends to get to your head once you get a wonder weapon on this map, and you realise that, yeah, even though you can kill them pretty quick, they will still swarm you because they spawn from fucking everywhere. Oh my god. That's what I mean, man. They just sneak up. I think what we're going to do now, actually, is be a smart individual and go pack a punch our MTAR here because we're not spending our points on anything else. I don't think any perks are dropping anytime soon that we really need, apart from maybe double tap. Oh, oh my god, that was far too close. Oh, I thought the MTAR had a lot more ammo than that. Maybe I was wrong. Weird. Anyway, we have a Mark II. It's fine. We can pack that if we need more ammo as well. This map is so stressful, man. You've got no idea. It's a double points. That'll be nice for, for when something like Speed Cooler drops in or maybe that little bit of that double tap. The game's feeling nice. Oh, insta-kill. Such an iconic duo of power-ups, man. Oh, my God, the lunge then. He just got us killed. And again. 
See, that's what I mean, man. They just sneak. It's fucking insta kill that went down. That's ridiculous, man. Oh, it's not like we lost much, but still, it's just a pain in the ass to run back through mid round, grab quick revive, all that shit. Oh my god. Quickly. Because with this map, I, I can't gauge when they're usually going to fucking spawn. I don't know why. Maybe I've just got terrible game sense when it comes to zombies. Actually, no, fuck that, no. Zombies is one of the games where I have, like, one of the best game senses ever. Look at me, man. I'm having a fucking mental breakdown of a nuke down zombies. Suppose we can spin and see if we get my fabled M27. If we do, we're swapping it out. No, okay. Oh my god, the M27! Actually, such a goaded weapon. I think for now, though, I'm going to play it safe and keep the Mark II out because I do need them to just get out of my way. Sometimes like that, like, we would have been dead there if I had the M27 out. And that... See, this map always keeps you on your toes, man. Even when you've got four perks. Like, you just never get a break with these zombies, man, especially. That is round, though. I'm going to go quickly chuck my... In fact, I think I'm going to go chuck my Mark II and the M27 in the pack punch machine really quickly here. Unless we don't have, don't have enough time. I don't know. I don't know. Don't really need to put the Mark II in there just yet. Hurry up. Come on. Okay, that's another perk coming through as well. Hopefully, that should be speed caller. Or double double tap would probably be more favoured, actually. Where's it going, though? Oh, it's over that side. Okay. It's going to try to hold them up the best I can, and then we'll load a massive clip of the uh, Mark II off into them. Should be the strat, hopefully. Oh, yeah, 100%, bro. Look at the drops. All for me. Right, let's not go down on insta-kill again. And that is round. Okay, six more to go. This is honestly probably the hardest one we're gonna do yet. And then, honestly, I'm saying the one after that will probably be Origins, considering that round eight Panzer, probably no staff, no jug, is gonna be hell on earth. The only thing I really don't like about the Mark II is that it has, like, a really big knockback effect. And don't get me wrong, it's great for maps like Buried and massive maps like Origins where you can boost around with it. But for when you're trying to get zombies out of your way while you're hoarding, bro, it can take so much time out of the way you're running around the map. And it can cause you to take stupid downs like the one I was doing before. Why am I not picking up this fire sale? I'm avoiding it like it's a fucking nuke. We should probably go have a look at what that perk was before this round ends, though. I think that's round, honestly. And what perk was it? It was over here, wasn't it? I mean, it looked like it barreled down over here. I guess not. Weird. Honestly, if that was double tap, I'm gonna be super pissed. Okay, five more rounds to go. Honestly, I'm feeling good about this one. And hey, at the end of this, I'll be a better zombies player because i'm playing with no joke i'll be avoiding zombie hits like the fucking plague okay we are running a little bit low i was about to say we are running a little bit low on this ammo but uh we have a thing called a max ammo sitting in front of us and that is round two bro i am feeling good about this run honestly feeling so good about it yep i'm pretty sure those clothes will be dry now i can't remember when the mark ii actually starts to fall off i don't think it's really up until like late 30s where you really need it packed so i think we should be all right for this run just to not pack it another fire sale i don't know what it is with this map bro you just get so many fire sales it's like they upped the spawn rate or something. No way, that's round 16 already. I actually refuse to believe. Oh my god, it is as well. If we don't get a max ammo soon, I think oh, I'm going to go pack this ray gun. We'll just see by the end of this round. It should last until the end of round 17. I am terrible with ammo judgments though. This little strategy I've got going on though with, you know, hold them up and just blast them with the ray gun seems to be working. It's a pretty simple strategy, I won't lie with you, but I think this is the only one you can really do with Nuketown because there's not really any camping spots. That's an insta-kill. That's kind of perfect. That's a down. Oh my god. God, that's such a stupid down as well, man. Okay, play it cool. We'll be fine. Another fire sale, bro. Stop it. Right, this is our third quick revive. Hopefully, it's our last one we have to fucking use and down with. Or well, not down at all. I don't know. And that's round 70. Oh, my God, bro. No, 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 no. We're getting to 20. We are so getting to 20. Oh, we should have packed the red. Oh, no, no. We can do it quick. We can do it quick. Come on. Maybe we can't do it quick. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, God. This is so risky. And for what? A packed ray gun? Yeah, we need more ammo to be fair, though. Right, I'm out of here. That was fucking bold from me. That should be our final perk dropping in now, actually. That's a nuke. I am going to grab that. I really don't want to fuck about with, like, going down stupidly. So if I'm taking an opportunity to get rid of all the zombies quickly, I'm taking that fucking opportunity. Ow, Jesus Christ. What is that? Speed caller. I will take that. And there we go. There's round 18 gone. On to round 19. This is the last round we have to play. Come on. I think now that the ray gun's packed, we should just really be able to spray and pray with it kind of thing. Not really necessarily worrying about ammo. And th then again, yep, we don't even need to anymore. Great. Oh, my God. No. Right, we're fine. Come on. This should be the last horde, surely. Oh my god, we actually did it. No jug. I have never... Bro, round 20, no jug on Nuketown. That's insane. All right, I guess we're on to... I think it's Buried now? No mob, it's mob. We're on to Mob of the Dead now. The last Victus map in the BO2 cycle. Buried. Honestly, hands down, has to be one of my favorite BO2 maps. If I had to put them in a tier list, it would definitely be Mob of the Dead, Origins, then Buried for top three. All right, let's get ourselves down there. This should be an easy round 20 with no jug. Grab some quick revive. And let's get this Drew on the wall. And let's get Leroy out of his cage. I want him to unlock... Uh, not unlock. Uh, lock down the box. Just so, you know, it doesn't fucking move while we're trying to roll for, like, the best guns in the game. And let's quickly, while we're grabbing the candy, turn the power on. And there's our little bowl of candy. Nice. 
Right, okay. Locked on the box, do you think? There we go. Right, let's open it up. Give me that ray gun, come on. Hammer? Okay, I'll take it. Ray gun mark one? All right. Got another bottle of booze in this cell. That is lucky. We're going to get the jug spot open just so we can camp down there, but we're not buying the burke. No, 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 no. Come back down here. What are you doing, bro? Oh, my God. The zombies are starting to run on round three, man. All right, do your thing. Run. Move. All right, let's grab the nuke here as well. You know what I think I'm going to do as well? I'm going to build the head cutter. I can never remember where the parts are for it, though. That's definitely one. That's a max ammo already as well. Perfect. All right, where's our board? There's the blade. There we go. Ow. Ah, man. Bro, they're fucking everywhere. It's only round four. There's the little headboard thing, and then we just need the, I think it's either the exhaust or this, like, little handle thing. I don't really know what it is. Is this it? I think this is it. Incorrect part, bro. We've been trolled. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Wait, is this it? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm be I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. <sighs> I was going to say, yeah, I thought we already grabbed the board. All I know right now is that we are getting through the round, though. Come on, this other piece has got to be around here somewhere. That's the flag for the trample steam. There's nothing there. There's nothing in the barrel. Can it spawn up here? No. That's the turbine wheel, bro. Come on. Where is it? Oh, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to get Leroy to build it because I'm too fucking dumb for this, man. There's the candy. I'm going to quickly run him up to the buildable table here. Right, study, study. Yeah, he's doing it. Cool. Grab a nuke here as well. I should probably end the round. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, my God. All the drops. Jesus. I'm going to see if I get, like, a paralyzer or something. Well, he's built it. There we go. Thank you for the head chopper, kind sir. Come on, give me the paralyzer. Come on. It's not that rare. Dual wield five sevens, bro. Who do you think I am? Ah, there. That's what I wanted. And monkey bombs. That's honestly perfect. Right, let's slap down this head chopper here. And, bro, it just does the work for us. Hands down has to be one of the coolest buildables ever. Round eight already, man. We have barely even been playing. Honestly, buried is probably going to be one of the most boring. I'm probably not going to speak much during it, actually, because it's just so easy. Slap down the head chopper again. That's what I like about buried, though. It's really easy. It's not something you have to sit down and mentally prepare yourself for, like, Origins. Like, I'm already brainstorming how I'm going to get that fucking lightning staff, man. I actually don't know what staff I'm going to go for. I'm thinking ice. And there we go. That's round nine already. I don't even think we're going to need to go into the witch's house, to tell you the truth. Slap the head drop that down quick. Oh, my God. I hate when it does that. They got through, bro. I I'm sad here saying buried is easy, but the ray gun just killed me. Bro, I'm terrible at this game. It's over. We'll go grab Crypto 5 at the end of this round. Probably safer to do it that way, honestly. Okay, let's go. We need to be quick. And there we go. Holy. We're halfway there now, actually. I've only just clocked this round 10. Okay, our head chopper broke. Okay, we need to be careful. Let's not go down to the ray gun again. Oh, God, okay. There's a fair few of them coming down this hallway now. We might actually have to go pack a bunch if we've only got a ray gun, to be fair with you. If it was the Mark II, it would be a different story. Paralyzer with insta-kill is fucking heaven on earth, man. It's great. And that is round again. Maybe we really want to pack a bunch. I'm so indecisive, man. Come on, Mark II. Mark II. It's not a Mark II. That's not a Mark II either, man. How was that still one shot into there? That's crazy. MTAR. That's something. Fucking foul, bro. Nah. Nah, that's a violation and you know it. Oh, Leroy's gone back in his cell. Fuck's sake. Never mind, I guess. All right, come on. Give me the Mark II. You know you want to. We'll be set for life with the Mark II. Mystery box, you got to invest in me here. No, nope, okay. If you give me the Cap 40 one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to find your tree family that you were crafted from. And time bomb? Okay. What did I just get? Monkey bomb? Bro, you just gave me the time bomb. I'm going to set that down there, actually, just in case we lose a quick revive. This round, at least. Don't really want to lose on too much progress. That's the war machine, bro. This game doesn't like me. Bro, it just gave me the Barrett. What is this? The hammer? Okay. All right, and there we go. That's round 13 done. It's getting a little bit more hectic now that now that we're not just camping down by jug. Swear to God. Please. Bro, monkeys, okay. It's better than the time bomb, to be fair with you, actually. Look at me out of a sticky situation. Galil. Uh, why is he just refusing to give me the Mark II, I wonder? Maybe that comment about his tree family, which he was crafted from, he just, the box just didn't really like. Bro, you're just flip-flopping between the time bomb and monkey bombs. Come on. Bro, it's actually just giving me the same four guns. Mark II. Mark II. Mark II. Mark II. Say it with me. Mark one. Fuck, bro. That's just a middle finger to the face. Okay, round 15. Three quarters of the way there. Let's get this dub, bro. Paralyzer's really starting to drop off now, man. It's taking like three quarters of its ammo to kill an entire horde, which isn't good. I really want to push for that nuke, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fucking reload. There we go. Oh my god, we might actually go down here. Mm. Is that that round done? Yes, okay, good. Gotta get rid of this Mark 1, man. The new model army is a shout, you know. I never use this weapon. I now realize why I don't use this weapon. It's not very good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't know what that is. Ah, fuck. Oh, okay, that's a fucking down. Okay, max ammo's nice. Ooh, okay, run, 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 run. We really need to run and grab quick revive, but we're getting fucking cornered, man. This isn't fair. The third time? Second time? Third time? I don't know. We'll go grab quick revive. Yeah, third time. God's sake, I'm so bad at this game, man. And there we go. I'm gonna quickly try and see if I can pull, like, a Rago Mark II from the box. That's literally all I want, man, and then we're fine. It's just giving me shit. The SR-50. Nah, 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 nah. It's gonna be a joke. 
Right, monkey bum out. Monkey bum out. Spin the box and then throw another one. The M top, bro. Come on. An insta kill right now would be much appreciated. Holy fuck. No. Why did I just get insta down there? What was that bullshit? My god, throw a monkey bomb ASAP. Ow. Oh my god, don't down me. Okay. Never strafed that hard in my life. I cannot believe out of all the ones I've said, Buried is giving me the most trouble. No. Oh my god, I could have been fucking awful. Bro, please just give me the Mark II. I'm actually on the verge of tears. It's giving me every gun but the Mark II. I think I've actually counted them all. Hammer? Okay, I'll take it. I do want speed caller though if I'm taking the hammer. Give me. Oh my god, I need to be so careful about them coming up. Like that, man. Nah, it might be over, you know. Oh my god, no. Bro, you're joking. Round 18 is criminal, man. All right, on Origins. For us two, we failed now. That's crazy. Let's get this first generator on here. Feels so weird playing this game on BO2, man. Well, this map even. I don't know. It just it feels like it's just destined to be a BO3 map, and I don't know why. It just feels so wrong for it to be in this game when it's literally the one it was made in. All right, is it snowing? Is it snowing? Is it snowing? Yes, no. Did I see a bit of snow? I was fucking bullets. All right, okay. I'm gonna wait for my double points to simmer a little bit here. Well, will I wait for the spawn in <laughs> that was outrageous even for me <laughs> try to get as many points as i can here map is fucking expensive oh my god Ugh. okay perfect we got as many points as we could there is that snow i smell no all right let's grab a shovel and we'll head over to the other gen because i just want to get some basic stuff sorted before we even start to worry about staffs we are going for ice staff in this so we're gonna have to grab the blue disc that's in here it's on this shelf nice and that's generator two on now great we're kind of just trying to flip rounds to be fair with you until we get snow we can't progress on our staff until otherwise you have no idea how sick i am of not buying jug man this is the one map where you need it so bad we should probably build the shield as well i'm gonna go grab that part quick and there it is and it's snowing perfect holy shit all right come on oh it would have been so perfect if it was just there where we got to got get as many points as possible this round there's all right staff piece nice it's also really nice not having to worry about the other three as well because we're not doing the easter egg it's great man all right let's get this generator on then we can progress into no man's land max ammo it's kind of perfect oh i'd really prefer to not end this round i'm not gonna lie i do fancy getting a staff before the panzer comes i don't think that's gonna be possible though because the next one's a gen 6 no <laughs> oh hang on opportunity opportunity bombard him with mauser bullets oh we got a few zombies okay got them collateral points as well quickly dig this up oh got some points there as well okay we might be getting the uh, staff this round no 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 you fucking prick it's gonna stop snowing isn't it no <laughs> No, as actual devastation. Oh my god, I want to cry. Ah, oh, Samantha, just keep yapping, bro. I just lost my eye staff. It's your fucking fault as well, prick. I'm aware she's like six, still a prick. <laughs> Oh my god, please. No, not right now. Okay. We are definitely fighting the Panzer. No jug, no staff. That is fucking criminal. Or maybe it might bless us up. Come on, snow, snow, snow. No, it's clear skies. Okay. Quickly get this on. I'd really prefer to do this sooner rather than later. That's it. I hate how slow the MP40 starts killing them, man. It's only round six. I think getting a boom hill there is definitely top priority. Please, snow. Please. No. Literally the opportunity for it to do it. And it still didn't. Oh, we are so fucked. Black disc. Nice. All right, let's grab an STG. I'm not risking anything here. Oh, we've been pushed down into the ice tunnel, man. This isn't looking good. Oh, and they spawned down here as well. I kind of forgot. Oh, zombie blood. That is literally perfect. Max ammo. Nice. Try to build as many points as I can. I'm going to try to get a boom hilda here. Yeah, we might actually be able to get one here. I'm really not sure. Oh my god, is there one more zombie? Holy shit. Oh, wait, no, we haven't even opened the barrier. The mound. We. Oh, we're fighting the panzer. It's not even stunning this round. That's actually criminal. What the fuck? Holy shit, he's right there. No, 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 no. What? a narrow fucking escape oh my god oh my god he's dead oh the stg had my back bro oh my god i'm completely out that's not good mp40 saved my life surely it snows now bro okay fuck the staff we're just gonna buy, uh, get a boom hilda from up here Chuck that in there it needs to hurry up but now but have we fucked it have we fuck oh there are so many spawning in jesus christ okay round 10 very nice and it's snowing should we go for the staff i don't know man i'm gonna go grab the stamina up really quick and it's fucking oh there's another ice staff piece give me this oh Okay, nuke, perfect. We can probably deal with this now. Oh, that'll deal with itself because we got a nuke. Yeah, it does. Nice. Now that we have a one-hit weapon, I do feel a little bit better as well. Oh, so 
zombie blood, bro. You're just blessing me too much. Come on, where's this last zombie at? There he is. Okay, double digits properly this time. Like I said before, I, I don't think I'm asked to go for the staff, to be fair with you. If we've got a boom hill, I think we'll be fine. We can go pack the MP40 as well once we've got that point budget to do so. Max ammo, that is lovely. I am going to go chuck this MP40 into the pack a bunch machine, though. Be nice. Yeah, that's much better. Got a nuke there. I don't know if that's going to end around. Oh, it did. Oh, my God. Another panzer. Right, this should be a lot easier now that we have this. Still, though, he's a fucking nasty bastard. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> I guess I'm going to fill up these soul chests for something to do. This one surely must be nearly done. Oh, my God. Rubber foot. No. Oh, my God. Okay, round 13. We're probably going to have to go grab that max ammo at the chest soon. If we don't get one. From a zombie, that is. I might spin the Wonder Fizz, honestly. I kind of forgot it's on BO2. Since it's so integrated into all the Zombies Chronicles maps, I kind of just think it's like, it's just put here as like a Zombies Chronicles thing. What is that? I don't know what that is. If it's Jug, I can't take it. It's actually Cherry. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Max ammo, perfect. Got a nuke here. I'm going to try and maximize it. Is that round? Oh my god, bro. We're so good with them nukes. I wonder if there's another cheeky hit here. I can't pick that up. I'm sorry. It was Juggernog. Okay, that soul box is done. We're good with the other one now. Like I said, I've got no clue why I'm doing them. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah, we are definitely going to need to pull out that max ammo from the chest. Right, okay. Let's go run to the um, Gen 6 uh, chest thing here. Seven bullets should get with through, right? Gen 2 has gone. F <sighs> I wanted to say so many words there, but I just couldn't. Oh my god, no. This fire staff piece is going to fuck me up. That's double tapped on a max ammo. <laughs> no. Oh no, we haven't fucked this one as well, have we? Right, quick, 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 quick. Oh, double Double tap could have been clutch, man. I have literally no idea how we got out of that. Oh, they're going after all the fucking generators now, man. Jesus. Bro, no max ammo. That's actually demoralizing. I think we might be fucked here. I can't lie. Okay, we got the generator on. We have 24 bullets, though. Is that last zombie? Okay, we must be close to the end of the round now. I think I'm going to go grab our max ammo from the chest and pick it right this time. And also, we go grab a quick revive again. Thank you for my max ammo. Thank you for my quick revive. And here we are, round 16. Okay, let's get this other generator on quick before the round starts. Oh my god, no, bro. It's not over again, is it? You're joking. Bro, no jug on Origins is so Origins is something else. Come on, get the generator on. It's gotta be a joke, man. Right, there we go. Templars are gone. It's gotta deal with normal zombies now. Right, to the workshop we go again. Right, quick revive. We've got another shot. We go down. Ah, bro, I wanted that. That's fucking STG44 so bad. Oh, that insta-kill would be lovely too. No, 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 no. No, no. It's actually so stressful, man. Maybe doing this no staff was a bad idea. <laughs> Makes the video more entertaining, though. And that's round. Oh, my God. Right, okay, give me my scar. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God, the Panzer. No, no. Oh, my God, how did we get out of that? Okay, we destroyed his visor. Wait, did we kill him? Oh, my God, there's a max ammo there as well. We need that so bad. Oh, my God, I'm putting my training skills to use. Ooh, ooh. Let me through. Let me through. Oh, my God. Okay, let's not get overwhelmed here. Let's not get overwhelmed. All right, okay, round 18. Oh, my God. I'm fucking breaking on a sweat, man. We've really got to be careful, man. We don't have many bullets left in this, and it's pretty much our lifeline. Oh, my God. Come on, one of you have got to drop a max ammo, surely. It's been a little while, right? Ah, oh, of course, you drop a double points. That's, that's fucking brilliant. Okay, round 19. I have got no clue whether or not we're surviving this round. My answer's leaning towards no. The Remington... No, I'm not picking that. Holy shit. Hang on. We can get a max ammo here if we're Bro, this is destiny. Just gotta get over there before it ends. Gotta kill them before they take the gen. My god. All right, okay, max ammo. Right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Gen 5, come back online, please, fast. Give me my stamina up, give me stamina up. That was some fucking James Bond type shit, man. All right, we just gotta get through this round and then we're done. Oh my god, no, not now. We gotta push through. Oh, wait, it's an insta-kill and there's nothing here. It's perfect. Gotta maximize this insta-kill, bro. Just so we don't have to use the boom hill. Oh my god, we've done it. Oh, I wanna scream so bad, but it is four in the morning. My neighbors hate me. We actually did it. Okay, we have completed most of the Black Ops 2 DLC maps and the original maps with no joke, minus transit and the arse ender buried. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. With all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.